After walking out of our first date on the 25th of October 2020, I had my serious suspicions of that, that someone had stolen, had stolen my diary, read what I wrote on the 9th of October. I just knew, darling, right away after our first date that you were the man of my dreams and I told you very soon that you were it for me and here we are. Darling, I have told you this several times but one of my big missions in life is that you never forget how proud I am of you. Since the start, I was so proud to call you my boyfriend, then my fiancé, and now I'm so proud to call you my husband. My Tom, you came into my life like an earthquake. Your strength, your passions, and your values shook me to the core and inspired me to want to become a better woman. You became my best friend when I felt so worried about something. With endless walks and deep conversations in the park, with your hugs and honesty, with your ways of making me feel safe and beautiful. You came along and brought so much life and so much light in, into my life. You brought joy, confidence, laughter and love. You are my rock, you are my family. You are my beautiful husband. Like I told you once, you saved me. I just want to spend the rest of my life um, showing you and the world how thankful I am for you. I love you with my whole heart and I'm planning on loving you forever. I hope you don't mind. I always thought that whoever married my sister had to pass a test to the server, and Thomas passed, easily. <laughs> I couldn't think of two people better suited with a beautiful journey of marriage. I remember our last holidays before the pandemic, just a few days before the first lockdown. We were walking through the city at night, and it was the first time my sister told me about Tom. But from that moment, when I saw that my sister's eyes were shining when she was talking about him, I realized that she was in front of something that was going to change our life forever. Now, it seems impossible to me to imagine one without the other. Ale without Tom? Tom without Ale? No way! I have never seen my sister so happy as now. And your happiness is my happiness. Thank you, little sister, for always giving me your unconditional support. Thank you for being the best sister a brother can have. I love you so much. And to be finishing, I always thought that the man who married my sister will be winning the lottery. Well, Tom, you won the lottery. To you, I only ask you to continue taking care and loving my sister always as well as you have done so far. I only wish you, once again, the best of the best. Baby successes. Well, the bride has arrived, which is great. Please stand for the bride. Well now let me formally welcome you to the wedding of Tom and Alessandra. So in the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we've come together to witness the marriage of Tom and Alessandra, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Tom, will you take Alessandra to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Alessandra, will you take Tom to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Will you, the families and friends of Tom and Alessandra, support and uphold them in their marriage, now and in the years to come? Beware. I, Tom, take you, Alessandra, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us depart, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, and make this vow. I, Alessandra, take you, Tom, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, better for work, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us depart, according to God's holy will, in the presence of God, I make this vow. So in the presence of God and before this congregation, Tom and Alessandra have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are now husband and wife.
those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. When I see my daughter, my beautiful daughter, now married to a lovely, lovely mom, like Tom. My words are of gratitude to God because he is faithful to his promises. And when my daughter was born, I entrusted her to God to take care of her, to guide her and that she will find eternal love first in our Heavenly Father, and then to find a good man who will love her and care of her. And my Father God has done that. I would like to make a toast for this beautiful couple. My God continue to guide and care for them forever. Ali, we are going to miss you so much. You are the best, best flatmate and best friend. <laughs> the most loving person I know. <laughs> My mister from another sister <laughs> and kindred spirit. So, like Cara said, to our mister from another sister and her husband, we wish you both all the best. Getting to know Ali over the last few months has been fantastic and seeing how happy you make my brother is wonderful. Tom and Ali have made each other belly laugh since the first time they met each other, and they haven't stopped since. The fun that you two have together is contagious, and it's a joy to watch. And I'm so thankful to God that you've been brought together. Tom, in your best man speech to me, you described yourself as the perpetual third wheel to Satter and I. Well, I'm pleased to say, Ali, you have turned our rickety, three-wheeled, reliant Robin into a fully functioning clown car. It was and we're so excited to see your marriage blue. On behalf of my new wife and I, uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming today. Dad, over the years you've taught me so many things. <laughs> You taught me so many things. You taught me a strong sense of right and wrong, the importance of compassion and generosity for those around you, the and the importance of being gracious, particularly when I kick your butt at chest for the thousandth time. <laughs> Mum, you've been a rock to me over the years, uh, and a dear friend too, especially since I became a Christian. I've treasured our long walks on the beach discussing life and all things theological, and I know that without your love, I would not be standing here today. To my groomsmen. It's been such a pleasure having you all with me over the last few months. I swear each time I look up there's another one of you, but that's because I couldn't choose. You're all so important to me and I couldn't lose any of you. Big thank you to my best man, James. When we were in opposite positions a few years ago, you said that you weren't gonna thank me yet because you didn't know what I was gonna say. I know what you're gonna say, and I know now that I have not been harsh enough when I gave my speech a few years back. <laughs> Finally, thank you to all the bridesmaids. You all play a different role in Ali's life and all provide comfort and laughter to her at different times. So, on to the reason we're all here today, Ali. When I talk about my wife, there are so many things I would love to tell you about. How loving and kind she is to all those around her, her generosity, her in intelligent wittiness and her charm. I could go on for hours. You're such a wonderful, fun-loving sign that makes my whole world seem a bit brighter. You make me want to dance like no one's watching and make me laugh like no one else does. And I can't wait to be continually terrified and bent over with laughter for the rest of our lives. For those of you who don't know, it's one year today since I asked Ali to be my girlfriend, and today she became my wife. It has been a crazy whirlwind of a year, but I look at you today and I am amazed by you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life being amazed by you. To Ali.